Welcome back to Razmafsar channel. My name is Manoche Mashta Khorasani and as I promised to you, um, I'm going to show you more pieces made by Han Hussein Farajian. These pieces uh, he made um, and uh, for different collectors and um, late Han Hussein Farajian was a very good smith and now his son Muhammad Reza Farajian continues the tradition of his uh, family and father and keeps making uh, swords, daggers and other edged weapons. Today I'm going to show you a Qame made by Haj Hussein Farajian. Qame in Persian is used um, to describe a double edged uh, short sword. As you can see that the handle of Qame, Haj Hussein Farajian kept the tradition in the, you know, it has uh, uh, three different uh, parts and the middle part of it, as you can take a look at it, looks like a drop, like a tear and uh, some of them also look like a heart and Persian Qames normally have three of them. Why do we have them? Because if you keep your hand here, it prevents it from sliding from the handle once you use it. And if I draw this, you can take a look at this. I'm going to take pictures so you can uh, look at it uh, uh, closely. It's a very well-made blade. And this blade um, is a very well-made and uh, it's made by Tizab on top of it, meaning that a tizab or etching is applied to it, so different inscriptions from Quran could be etched on it. It's multi-fullered. Uh, Persian Qamez normally have one fuller on each side of the uh, blade, off-site fullers, so they are not on the same side. But some of them are multi-fullered, as you can see in uh, Military Museum of uh, Tehran in Sadawat Palace Complex. And um, it's a very well made. It's a carbon blade and forged, a forged blade. And uh, also his name is there, as I said to you, all uh, made by etching. It has also a reinforced tip, as you can see uh, up there. Okay, uh, the way of carrying it, it has, uh, we can carry it with a belt, as you can see it here. It stays like here. You can put it a bit to the side. And once you, then you can pull it. And as you know, Gameh, mean, you put your hand behind so you can uh, protect yourself because we do not have, this is a civilian weapon, there is no shield involved. And then you can, then you see this is a, you can handle this very well. And this is, um, you can do all strikes which you want to do with Gameh. Again, the balance is exceptional, although it's uh, on the, Gameh I mean, on the heavy side, they have also smaller ones. This one, in spite of being on the heavier game, like the original ones, still handles extremely well and well balanced. I have never handled any blade by Hacho Seni Farajian which does not handle and balance very well. He exactly knew what and how an edged weapon, a sword, a shamshir, a short sword, should handle. Uh, the problem is, as I uh, have mentioned it many times, uh, some modern makers do not know the balance. It's not only the way of how you make a blade, how it also handles in your hand, so it's also very important. And also then the other qualities, how uh, it, the way it looks like and all other factors of uh, aesthetics and beauty on it. So a very well made comment made by Hachusei um, Farajian. I'm going to show you this. This is, as just to show you, it is, uh, we call it Khoshkiye blade, uh, or Khoshkiye tire. Now I mixed English and Persian a bit. Khoshkiye tire, which is uh, the level of dryness, or also flexibility on the other hand. So if you take a look uh, at this, and you can see that it, uh, it is a very strong and sturdy blade and very well made as you can see it here
The inscriptions here um, are from Surah Al-Nasr, which read, In the name of God, most benevolent, ever merciful. When the help of God arrives and victory, and you see men enter God's discipline horde on horde, then glorify your Lord and seek his forgiveness. Verily, he is relenting. This side we have from the Surah um, Al-Asr, in the name of God, most benevolent, ever merciful, time and age are witness, man is certainly in loss, except those who believe and do good and enjoy truth on one another, and enjoin one another to bear with fortitude the trials that befall. This is Surah Nas, in the name of God, most benevolent, ever merciful. Say, I seek refuge with the Lord of man, the King of man, the God of man, from the evil of him who breathes temptations into the mind of man, who suggests evil thoughts to the hearts of man, from among the jinns and men. This side we have inscriptions from the Surah Al Falaq, which read, In the name of God, most benevolent, ever merciful, say, I seek refuge with the Lord of rising day from the evil of what he has created and the evil of evening darkness, and when it overspreads from the evil of sorcer sorceresses who blow the incantations on knots, from the evil of the envier. When he envies. On this side, uh, the inscriptions read on, on top. Uh, first, there is the maker's mark, Hussein Farajian, and below, uh, the English translation reads, There is no hand above God's hand. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching our channel and also specifically this video and please um, keep subscribing our channel and watching our channel and liking the videos and above all keep supporting us thank you very much have a nice day